everybody and good afternoon happy uh, 19th of uh april i almost said february <laughs> i was off by a little bit but happy uh, 19th of of April. I hope everyone is doing well and hanging in there. Uh, we're here for my research methods class for our week number 14 live stream, which is hard to believe that we are in week number 14 and so close to the end of our semester at this point. Uh, I can't believe April is more than halfway over. It, it, we're definitely getting there. So hang in there. If you are uh, feeling tired or kind of over it or overwhelmed, we are very close to the end of our semester. So it's coming, it's coming. Uh, but I see a bunch of you here with me. Can you all hear me okay? Everything looks clear on my end, but if someone could let me know if you can hear and see me fine. That would be fantastic before we get started. Just wait a second here if you could uh, put it in the chat. Perfect, thank you. Wonderful, all right, I love it. Thank you so much for letting me know. Um, Great. Okay, good. It looks like all of you can hear me fine. So uh, we are in week 14, as I said, so way down here. And you'll notice we only have 17 weeks of our class. So uh, this week and then three more. Or if you're the kind of person who doesn't count the week we're in, then we're down to three. So I mean, we're, we're getting close at this point. Uh, I want to give you just a little bit of feedback about last week, and then we'll talk about what we have going on this week. Um, for week 14, I'll of course give you the extra credit question for the week. And then if you have any comments or questions or thoughts for me, you can always put those in the chat. So um, let's talk about last week for just a moment before we talk about this week. Um, last week we had kind of a different week. Uh, I wanted to take a little bit of time and dedicate it to our experiment proposal project that we have due um, during our last week of the semester. Give you a chance to kind of build up to that a little bit, start thinking about it. I really enjoyed all the ideas, so many wonderful uh, proposals and ideas that were out there. Most of you got full points. The only reason that you didn't was if you didn't quite give me enough. There were a couple of you that I said I wanted a little bit more progress, but for the most part, I was really impressed. A lot of you, uh, you know, were thinking about your independent and dependent variables and how you would do sampling and all that kind of stuff, which is fantastic. So uh, hopefully you hold on to that, keep building on that, on that it's going to hopefully be helpful for you as we gear up toward the final paper at the end of the semester. Um, also, nice job on discussion 13. Again, very much kind of connecting to each other here. Um, as I said, uh, nice job on that. And then on the assessment, uh, thank you for being honest. Most of you seem to be feeling pretty good about the class, pretty uh, happy with your progress and effort. So uh, hopefully that continues. Again, we only have a few short weeks left of our semester. This week we are in week number 14, and we're gonna be looking at our last uh, APA formatting part, uh, which is part three, kind of continuing to build on that APA style that's so important for uh, research methods. We have a discussion, we have a homework assignment, and extra credit, so uh, let's unpack some of that and, and look at all of that together. So your, your lecture for this week, uh, rather than reading in the textbook, what I did is I scanned another one of those chapters from the APA style manual. It's only one chapter to read, but if you click on it here, uh, you can see it. And again, I'm sorry that it's not perfect, but uh, hopefully you appreciate that it is free. I had to scan all 26 pages. So um, what that will do at least is give you the opportunity to read through it without having to purchase it. So I'm sorry if it's not all like lined up beautifully, uh, but make sure that you read this chapter uh, for APA style, chapter eight. Um, you're also going to be going through the lecture, right? So if we click on APA formatting lecture for part three, what we're focusing on here is how we're citing sources in our papers for APA style, how we format and make a references page, and how we find some online resources. There are an incredible number of online resources for APA style, uh, and more than memorizing and knowing how to use all these things, it's knowing where to go for help. So uh, what I have here are um, kind of, those are our three focuses. On the Beyond the Book page, uh, we have a video here that Jasmine from our Writing Center made. And this is a fantastic video. She did a beautiful job making this. You'll see this information on the last exam. It's gonna be helpful for the discussion and our last APA um, style assignment. So make sure that you watch this video that Jasmine created about how to do citations and references. I also gave you some links here to some wonderful online resources like Scribber, OWL, 
um, some APA style links, a sample student paper. Uh, remember that any time that you use online citation generators, they're never going to be like 100% accurate, but it is a wonderful place to start. So you can always use those um, when you're writing your papers. And then finally on the last page, your key terms and review, things that you need to know for the exam, um, which is our final coming up in a couple of weeks. So as always, watch the videos, click on anything that's in there. Uh, that's going to be really helpful for you, especially with the assignment that we have this week and also the discussion. Everything's going to kind of connect to each other really nicely. Uh, don't forget that there's also a lecture video, as always. So I have a video here of me lecturing on um, APA style in-text citation basics and some of the things for this week. I tried to keep this purposefully short since uh, Jasmine with the Writing Center made a nice video for us as well. But I did want to go through a couple of things from my end um, to make sure you're clear. So make sure you watch this, take notes. It will definitely show up on the exam, so pay attention. Um, so those are your readings and lectures for this week. Make sure you not only read through that chapter, but also the lecture video and then the short lecture that I have for you. Using all of that, you will complete discussion number 14. And as always, we have the instructions up here, same every time. It's worth 15 points, 13 for your responses to my questions, and then two for your response to appear. Uh, make sure that you're really elaborating and showing off your knowledge in detail. This one is about APA style, right? Shocker, that was our topic for the week. It is your topic for the discussion. So you're gonna do a couple of things here. Make sure you watch the Writing Center video, which I wrote right here. Make sure that you've watched that ahead of time and that you've read through the APA style manual chapter. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to that practice website that you went to before, and you're gonna complete two exercises, the in-text citations and matching a reference to resource type. Just kind of a fun, interactive way to review this. Uh, question one, you're gonna share your experience with those exercises. Be honest, you know, did you understand it? Did you make, find it confusing? You know, where are you at? You did this before with part two. And then part uh, question two, you're gonna create a references page. So this is going to be an amazing like practice opportunity for you. It's going to come in handy with other things as well, but you're going to create a references page that includes the three different sources that are below. Note that these are not in the correct style. There's no formatting whatsoever with these three different sources that are right here. Um, so you are going to need to format them correctly. So what I'm looking for here is that you can follow the formatting requirements for a references page and take something, now that you know what type it is, and uh, cite it correctly. So I'm gonna be grading you on the accuracy of your page according to APA style seventh edition, along with how well you accurately cite these sources. So you can upload that as an image, which some of you have done, or you can copy and paste it into your post. Either one is fine, but when you're ready, you'll hit reply. And then don't forget to also reply to a classmate, but this is gonna be really good practice for you in citing APA style references, which will help you with your paper and the homework and all that kind of stuff as well. The other component that you have this week is you have our last homework assignment. This is number four. This is the last one, again, as we get close to the end of the semester. So here are the instructions, and then here is the unformatted paper that goes with it. So um, let me just open this first so you can see. What I've done is I've uploaded an unformatted paper. You'll notice here's a title and a person and an abstract, and there's a bunch of stuff in here that has not been formatted in any way, shape, or form. You're gonna be taking this and formatting it according to APA style. So you're not writing anything new necessarily, but you are going to be taking this and manipulating it and making it into an accurate APA style document. Are we treating this as a student papers? Yes, I'm glad you asked, right? So you don't need a running head for your references page or any of this stuff. References page and like, I'm sorry, running head is only typically used in like academic papers. It's kind of fallen out of favor in the new uh, version of APA formatting. So no running head in your student paper. Thank you for, for asking, that's a great question. So that's where you can find that unformatted paper. Let's take a look at the instructions of what I want you to do with that unformatted paper. So if we click on homework assignment number four, let's go through this together. Just like the other ones, this is worth 25 points. Just like the other ones, it's due by this Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. You're limited to certain file types that you can upload, so just be mindful of that. Uh, your final paper 
It's what it's doing here is giving you practice properly formatting something in APA style, seventh edition, of course. So you're not writing a paper. What you are doing, though, is you're correcting and formatting the different citation mistakes in the existing article, right? So what you're going to do is follow these general content and specific rules, right? And this is what I'm looking for in your final paper. Correct. No references page is needed. You're just doing these items, right? So what you'll be doing, um, again, not writing a paper, but just editing and correcting the already existing one. This should be roughly 10 to 12 pages, standard margins. It should be typed in size 12 font and double spaced, all those very standard APA style stuff. And below is a list of things I'd like you to focus on when ensuring that this paper is in compliance with APA style. If you see errors that go beyond the list on here, like spelling or grammar or any of that stuff, don't worry about it. That's not what we're focusing on. What I want you to look at is the general formatting, the title page, the body of the paper, and the citations. And then I've given you some tips and like um, direction underneath it. So in terms of general formatting, are the margins according to API style? Is the font uh, use size 12 font times New Roman? Is the line spacing correct? How about the indentation of paragraphs? Are there page numbers? These are general formatting rules that I want you to make sure are correct in your paper. There is no title page in the unformatted paper. That should be a big red flag. You have some work to do there. We just did this a couple of weeks ago for a discussion, so you could always go back and reference that. But you should have a title page with correct formatting, with the title, the author, the affiliation, the page number, everything should look correct. In the body of the paper are the headings for each section correct. Are they formatted properly? Are there appropriate page breaks where needed? Citations, any citation that I highlighted in yellow is incorrect and will need to be reformatted. You only need to focus on the citations that are yellow and highlighted. You can ignore the rest of them and assume that they are correct. Leave the yellow highlights. Don't get rid of it. That way I can find and grade your corrections easily. If you get rid of them, it will take me forever to find um, in your paper. So please don't do that. Uh, but you're only looking at the ones that are highlighted yellow. Everything else you can assume is correct in terms of citations. Your reformatted paper will be submitted online through here. It's due this Sunday. Is that date correct? Uh, the 23rd. I'm sorry, I'm not sure why that date is wrong. Let's change it really quickly so I don't um, confuse you on accident. So let me just uh, make a quick update on that while we are here. Sometimes I miss these little things that are like hidden deep into an assignment. So it's the 23rd, not the 20. Fifth, which is good that we caught that now. Uh, so again, what you're doing for this is you're going to open that unformatted document, save it, because you're going to be manipulating it, saving it, and then re-uploading it. So look out for the formatting, the title page, the body of the paper, the citations, and you'll be uploading this by 11.59 p.m. this Sunday night. And of course, you can turn it in late at 10% off per day. But you don't want to do that. Just get it in on time so you can get your full points. This should be a wonderful opportunity to like get a hands-on practice with that. So remember, if I go back here a page to modules. Sorry, I'm hitting buttons here. My internet is slow. So we're all the way down in week 14. Let me get back down there. <clears throat> so here is the homework assignment instructions where we just were. And then here is the unformatted paper right underneath it. Yeah, um, I was just changing the date to this Sunday. It was randomly said the 25th. That must have been an old date. So it's just this Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. like usual. So everything is due by the 23rd. Um, it was just wrong for some reason. Not sure why, but it has been fixed now. So make sure for this week that you do that reading. Of course, um, watch the lecture video. Complete discussion 14, which is going to help you practice with a references page and references. Work on homework number four, right, where you're going to be formatting an unformatted paper. And then the only other thing for this week is the optional extra credit question, which I will give you in a moment. But are there any, uh, any questions or anything for me at this point? I do have a couple of quick reminders for you, but anything that I can answer about the homework or the discussion or anything for this week? While I'm waiting for you, I'll give you my reminders. The first one, as always, I'm going to give you a quick reminder about your subscription status. There are only five of you that are still subscribed out of the like 
you know, maybe 200 and something people that I have in my online classes. So if you could take a moment to renew your subscription, I would really appreciate it. It would save me a lot of time. Thank you. Uh, the other reminder I have for you, our next Twitch live stream will be on Wednesday, April 26th at 12.30 p.m. Okay, so just like today and just like usual, our next live stream will be on Wednesday at 12.30 next week. We only have a couple more of these left and a bunch of you have been doing these every week, which is fantastic. Those points are going to add up for you. Um, so I'm glad that you are doing that. And thank you so much for those of you joining me live. If you're watching this later, make sure that you are subscribed so that you can get credit for doing that. Uh, and again, there are only a few of you who still are. So if you could just double check that, that would be fantastic. Otherwise, let me give you the extra credit question uh, and then we can call it a day. Oh, I, I almost had a cat nearby. I tried to grab him, but he took off. Oh, he took off. I almost had Binks. Uh, if he comes back, I will grab him. Uh, but let's go and get that extra credit question here. Let me put it in here. I typed it up so that uh, I wouldn't have to write it. Here we go. So this is the week number 14 Twitch extra credit. What I'd like you to do is share, so copy and paste, the website link for two great APA style resources. Now these can be ones that I shared with you in the lecture, or it could be ones that you found online yourself, but you will upload by copying and pasting uh, two great APA style resources that you have found online. And again, they can be mine or they can be ones you find. When you're ready to do that, you'll go to optional extra credit number 14, since that's the week that we are in. And then up at the top, when you're ready, you'll click on start assignment. And that will bring up the box where you can type your response. And then when you're ready, go ahead and hit submit. Um, this is going to give you a uh, confetti burst. Ooh, pizza. I've never seen pizza in there before. It's making me hungry. I could always eat pizza. Uh, but this is due by this Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. It's worth two points. Uh, again, make sure you put your name in the chat at some point if you haven't already. Or if you're subscribed, don't worry about it. Uh, but we only have, as I said, a couple more of these and then we are done with our class. So get going on the materials for this week. Uh, last uh, APA style stuff here. Make sure you watch that video from our writing center that I posted. Get going on the discussion and the homework. I will be posting this a little bit later today. I will download it and then upload it and all that fun stuff uh, so that you can watch it later if you need to. So thank you so much for all of you who joined me um, live. Oop, there's a cat close by. Right. I got Binks. All right. So this is Binks. He was named after uh, Zachary Binks from uh, Hocus Pocus because we got him right before Halloween. Not happy with me, but that's Binks. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for, for joining me. Yeah, he's he's like long gone now. He's like, that's it. You touched me. <laughs> I'm like, I have Rolly behind me too, but I think I shared him with you before. Let's get him anyway. Oh, my two-hander. This is my big boy. <laughs> so here's Rolly. Look at. Let's just get all the cats in here. I have four, but only uh, only two of them that ever hang around because the rest of them know better. But uh, now I have. You've experienced two cats. That's a pretty good uh, Wednesday, I must say. Yeah, he's my two-hander. He's a. Uh, my kids can't pick him up because he's so heavy. They're like, "Can you get him for me? I can't lift him." <laughs> he's like the sweetest cat, but he he loves. Food as much as I do. Yeah, the two of us, we're uh, sticking together. So anyway, uh, just a chance to share them because I'm at home. Why not? Right. Uh, but have a wonderful week, everyone. As I said, hang in there. I know uh, this is a tough time of the semester. It's going to get warm this weekend, too. It's starting to feel like we're getting closer to summer. So hang in there. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to minimize my video. But if you have any questions, feel free to uh, put them in the chat. I'll hang out for a few minutes. Uh, and thank you so much again for those of you who join me live. I really appreciate the company and having you here with me. So thank you so much. Thank you as well. Thank you. You're welcome. See you next week. Just a couple more to go.
You're welcome. Thank you as well. Thank you for being here with me. See you next week.